Hi, I'm Darlene Robbins, President of the Northeast Pennsylvania Manufacturers and Employers Association. I would like to extend my congratulations to all our winners as well as a big thank you to all those who made the night special, including our guest speaker, Amy Rawlings, the National Association of Manufacturers Executive Director of our Allied Associations, and to all of our sponsors. Our platinum sponsors for the evening include Draca Prismian, PPL Electric Utilities, Pennsylvania Manufacturers Association, and National Pen. Our goal sponsors, Interstate Building Materials, M&T Bank, Mrs. T's Pierogies, and Romark Logistics. Our silver sponsors, DG Yingling and Son, Empire Education Group, Henkel Consumer Goods, Michael Foods Papetti Egg Products, Schaefer's Harley Davidson, and World Resources. Thank you all. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, say congratulations hey, say to uh, all the other winners. Um, it's a privilege to be out here representing Interstate and uh, doing so alongside all these great companies. Uh, it's, it's truly an honor. Uh, I want to thank everybody at the Manufacturers Association uh, for this wonderful honor um, and for hosting this event. Clearly, the, uh, the turnout speaks for itself. Um, from Interstate, I'd like to thank Karen Aceto. Uh, she's our controller. Without her, a uh, lot of things that uh, uh, certainly wouldn't, wouldn't be possible. Um, Don Montini, uh, some of you met him today. He, he gave the tour. Uh, him and Dave McAvoy, every day they run our production facility and they just do a, a top-notch job. Um, Rich Capice, he's uh, standing over here. He's our director of sales. Uh, he's the guy who gets the uh, sales, sales team motivated uh, every single day. And more importantly, he creates a uh, culture of we rather than a culture of me. Um, now, we receive the award for product in innovation, and that's something that allows us to compete uh, against some industry giants, household names that uh, many of you have probably heard, your Morvins, your Pella, uh, Anderson, Gelman Windows. Um, and, and that allows, uh, the innovations allow us to, to not only compete, but find our niche and be successful uh, within the industry uh, against these, these uh, large corporations. Um, but aside from your products, you know, however good they are and whatever innovations you have, to me, it really means nothing uh, without the people behind it, the people who come to work every day, uh, all the employees uh, at NRC, I'd be remiss if I, uh, if I had not acknowledged them uh, and their service to the company. We're very fortunate uh, to have many employees who've been with our company for 30 plus years, um, and you know it's because their hard work that we're actually here, uh, and this year celebrating our 75th anniversary, and it will be future generations of employees that allow us to carry on the legacy uh, that they started for the next 75 years. So for their service and their dedication to the company, uh, I'm truly grateful. And uh, for their loyalty, um, uh, I'm very humbled. So thank you again, everybody. It's uh, definitely an honor. We are very grateful for the acknowledgement that we've received today. Uh, BG Ealing and his family has put a lot of effort to reinvest into the company over the past five years since I've been there. I've done probably 15 <coughs> projects of uh, good size. This one that we mentioned today was the pasteurized project. <coughs> and we, uh, that took about a year and three months put together and finish up and start up. But the results have been fantastic and we look forward to the next project and we will keep going. Once again, we'd like to thank the Manufacturer Association for this award. Our company takes a lot of pride and we're very proud of this. I do congratulate all the other companies that have these awards, congratulations. Um, one thing I'd like to thank is our new company, the Prismium Group, 
you know, about a year and a half ago, they purchased us and they really put a lot of money into our company. This uh, project was $3 million that we did. We added 19,000 square feet, put 15 pieces of equipment in. Um, we actually brought different, Scott came up from North Carolina. Uh, we brought 10 new people into the plant and you know, with that, it's, we really take a lot of pride in what we've done. Uh, right now we're in the process of putting a new cable and line in for this 4G product. It's over irrigation products, which is another half a million dollars. And then we're also, at the end of this year, we're going to put in another million and a half to do an extrusion line. So, once again, the company, we're proud that this company will spend the money on us and have a lot of confidence in us. Once again, I'd like to thank my colleagues with Todd and Dave, Scott, Jeff, everybody's really stepped up to the plate, you know, with this extra additions and all the extra equipment, we all got a little bit extra on our plate and everybody stepped up, so thank you very much.
knowing that we could always improve on our processes. So immediately following these storms, we self-critique our performance and identify what we did well and look for those issues and areas that we need improvement. Currently, we're working with a number of statewide and national industry efforts to identify more best practices so we and other utilities can deal with storms better. In the last two years, we've made major changes to our customer service tools, our emergency preparedness and storm response processes so we can serve our customers well. We understand everyone depends on our response effectively during major storms. So on behalf of PPL Electric Utilities, we appreciate this recognition. Thank you.
whereas these other two boys in the front row there also have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Um, the one in the middle is 13. He's been in a chair for about three years. Um, he's going to have a surgery on Friday, um, so we're going to pray for him. They're going to go in and stretch his heel cord um, and hopefully give him some movement. And the last boy here on the end is actually in college, um, and he's been in a wheelchair for quite some time. Um, but when we first started doing this, the boys certainly did not, weren't able to get around like they are now. I, the boys didn't make it out of their teenage years, unfortunately. But now they go on to college, they go on to have businesses. Um, we have a gentleman here. Um, he may look very small, but he's 20 years old. He's um, a junior at Moravian College. And the girl beside um, him there, they both have spinal muscular atrophy. So they can't lift their heads up if they need to. Um, they've never walked a day in their life. But that young man just started his own not-for-profit. So they are our inspiration. Um, when we're having a bad day, it's nothing compared to what these children are going through. So we will continue to do this until we find a cure.